All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem here to give you a scout report on another defensive tackle headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. For this blog, I'm here to talk about DT Jalil Johnson coming out of Iowa. This is like this is a pretty good player to look at in the later rounds, in the mid rounds. Now he's actually hailing from Lombard, Illinois, and he actually was a huge problem this past season, particularly in which he was actually first team All Big Ten honors in which is a rare situation in which he led his team with 10 tackles for loss and seven and a half sacks to go along with 55 tackles. I think this is a pretty good player for you guys to watch, and he improved from um, last season, 2015, with 45 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, and three and a half sacks. Those were the two years in which he really shared the full role of the starting uh, defensive tackle for the Iowa Hawkeye defense. Now, it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. This kid has a pretty good motor who doesn't quit throughout the, uh, the game. He hustles all around the field, and I do like the fact that his specialty is stopping the run. This kid is well built to stop the run at six foot three, 316 pounds. Definitely has a relentless motor, and I think he does a pretty good job exploding off of the snap for a man of his size. I do like the fact that he definitely has the gravity, the low center of gravity to use upon to stop against double team situations against opposing offenses that shows that he definitely draws a lot of attention which can open things up for his fellow teammates defender teammates to get to the football now he does have some weaknesses though i mentioned his weight at 316 pounds now because of his weight and his size he has a hard time keeping himself in balance once he's hit on contact that's one of the biggest things that i have seen now other things that i am concerned are two major things first his four time he ran a 53840 which is not the speed that you're looking your defensive tackle to have you want to really have in the, uh, the best defensive tackles to beat run in the 500 range a five flat 5.1 at best but not a 538 that is not good also he only had 19 reps at 225 pounds bench press a man of his size you just wished he was a little bit stronger than what he had on on his stat sheet as far as his results of his workout now yes we should not overlook that his play he did actually had a productive year this past year but you still have to be draw a little bit of concerns based on his workout and I do understand that his playing time on the field is way bigger than what is going on in the weight room. I do respect that. But the, because of his weight issues and the fact that he ran such a bad time in the 40 and as well as under 20 reps at 225 pound bench press, that draws a little bit of concern. That shows that he could be a little bit of a fluke for a man of his size and he could be pushed all around at the next level. Now, overall, from my projection, I do see him as a mid fifth round pick of this year's draft. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have one more blog for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.